All right, you got a bad vibration in your truck and can't figure out what it is, we're gonna talk about one of the possibilities. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ryan and I own a commercial truck and trailer shop in Canton, Ohio. Been in the business for about 20 years, also been an owner operator for a few years. So if you're a driver, owner operator, I know what you're going through out there. So we put out videos on truck repair, maintenance, and also a little bit of trucking business. So enjoy the video and we'll get started. Okay, so sitting next to me here are the drive shafts out of a 280 inch wheelbase, Peterbilt 379, except for the the last one between the axles. So three pieces here. It's had a bad vibration for a while. Had a little bit of play in the input shaft and the transmission. So we were doing a transmission job. Or actually he was down at my training shop and they recommended having the drive shafts done. So I went ahead and pulled those out and took them to another place up here close to me. And uh, they put them on a dyno, spun them, and they were severely out of balance. So I'll bring you up close here and kind of show you what I'm talking about. And we'll go from there. This video is brought to you by our friends at Trucker Pass. America's most popular app for truck drivers. Millions of truckers all over the country use Trucker Pass to find the closest truck stop, available parking, way station, fuel stops, trip planning, and truck safe routing. Download Trucker Pass today with the link in the description below. Okay, so you'll see these little pieces of metal here that are spot welded to the drive shaft. Those are weights to balance this. As you see, they've cut some off and welded new ones on, actually. See, there's a whole bunch of them up here. Those are all original, it looks like. Out of all three of these drive shafts, every one of them here have had quite a bit of work done. This one, they put two, one on the bottom, one on the top there. Uh, so, I mean, over time with rust and corrosion, you can actually see this pitting here. I mean, that can cause this drive shaft to get out of balance. I mean, anything, any type of damage. And just over time, you know, they get out of balance. I mean, this one had some more cut off. So, I mean, this length, I mean, when you have that much, it can all add up and you get a lot of vibration out of that drive line. And that can cause those, that feeling that you want a smooth ride when you're driving down the road. You don't want any weird vibrations in your foot when you're on the pedal and all that type of stuff. And this is one of the things that's not commonly thought of and a lot of shops don't check. Fortunately, up here where we're located, I got several shops in the area that have a dyno where they can put these on, spin them, and it actually tells them where, okay, you need to weld this amount to that spot, whatever needs to be done. And I also check the U-joints out and all that type of stuff too, just to make sure everything's good to go. Carrier bearings are another thing, which uh, carrier bearings right here. These are rubber, rubber type material. Then get worn out and that'll allow that drive shaft to move side to side, which can throw it again off of balance and um, cause those vibrations. So again, guys, if, uh, if you've had a vibration that you haven't been able to find, uh, you know, looked at everything, it doesn't cost a whole lot to have these done. It was a little bit of labor taking them out. This is obviously when this thing's all together, it's like 12 feet long. So obviously I'm not going to pick this up all in one piece and throw it in the back of the truck to take it out. So I had to break it all down, mark them all end to end, which position they're in. So we put it all back in, right? And that's kind of important and what position the U-joints and everything were so they don't bind up. After that, put on a dyno and tested and reweighted and balanced and all that. It was like $350. So I mean, it's really not that expensive to have this done, especially if you take it out yourself. I mean, I'm going to have like two hours of labor putting it back in. So I mean, all in, I mean, it's probably gonna be like five, 600 bucks having it all balanced out, which and these days isn't a lot, really, <laughs> to, to finally figure out a problem. Hopefully that solves this. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe, hit the bell for the updates, and like the videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.